Okay, so we kill five cards in their hands and bring Chavez out. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Leech is so disgusting. What is up, Slayers, and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Today we are playing a deck called Pop and Lock. Built around this card, Lockjaw. Really cool card. When you play a card in the location that Lockjaw's in, we get to swap it with a card in our deck. And as you guys have probably seen a bajillion times, you just want to play cheap cards into Lockjaw's lane and pull out hopefully some big boys like Hulk and Infinite and Chavez, Vision, and even potentially an early Leech to really kibosh our opponent's game plans. Now, if we don't happen to draw Lockjaw, we still have Jubilee to pull in some of these big boys. We can also just hard cast them on turns five and six as well if we have built up enough of a board state. If we're able to cheat in Leech really early, like turn four, like we're really able to stop a lot of games in its tracks because our opponents usually have a lot of cards that just die to Leech. Mbaku is a great card to send into a lockjaw lane because basically we would get Mbaku back at the end of the game if we happen to have an empty spot on our board. But otherwise, yeah, I just wanted to try a really cool lockjaw deck. I haven't really played a lot of Lockjaw, so it's something that I wanted to try out and just see how far we could push, see if we can collect any cubes from our opponents and see if we can rank up a little bit as well. I really like Lockjaw because I'm a big dog fan, as you guys know, and also Lockjaw is just a really cool lore. Um, he's a pet of the Inhumans of Marvel, and uh, he's got the ability to teleport things, teleport enormous amount of mass from one location to another across dimensions. So that's why Lockjaw is really cool, and it definitely makes sense. Um, with the flavor of what he does when he enters the game. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Lockjaw, the card, and or the character. Lockjaw's a really good boy, and if you enjoy this Lockjaw deck, please remember to give Old Slay a chop on the likes and subscribes. I'm ready to get into some Lockjaw action, so without further ado, let's play some Marvel Snap. Alright, let's try a little bit of Pop and Lock. Well, in the turn, we do have our Lockjaw here. Not sure exactly how we're going to get this. Uh, I think we could either hold off. I think we just hold off, right? Yeah, we hold off here. We still have a lot of juicy stuff in hand, so we don't need to play out the Nightcrawler. Oh no, not rocks. Ugh. The rocks sucks. Rock sucks for Lockjaw. Okay, good we didn't play into middle, that's fine. Makes me wonder, are they destroyer? Okay, so we have three more rocks in the deck. This is so sus. Um, I guess we can go ahead and play Jubilee here. This will be kind of like a two for one. Okay, we have our America. <clears throat> and Infinite, nice. Okay, so I think we've got this lane locked down. <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, how do we want to do this right here? We can go... Armor... Thor? Finished off with Jane Foster here? Face the Mart of Asgard. Okay. So let's see. They might have another devil dinosaur over here, which could really screw us. How do we win against Devil Dinosaur here? Um This would give us 17, which would tie. And they would be up 20... Oh, let's try it out. <clears throat> I'm willing to spend the cubes here. We actually might win here. Um, oh wait, no, because they're going to get cards, I think, for each one of ours. So we do tie, right? There we go. And we are up 27 here, and they're only up 22 here. So we do win. Nice. Let's freaking go. Mbaku was clutch there a little bit. Um, I think we still would have won because it would have been up 24 and we still would have been up 27, but nice to know that Mr. Mbaku coming in to play GG Fortune Cat. I don't generally like 
playing um, Lockjaw decks just because it really serves as a way to dominate one lane, but it's <clears throat> it seems actually kind of sus when it comes to trying to fill out the rest of the lanes, unfortunately for us. There's a question. Do we lock jaw into Widow? Okay, interesting. Well, I'm thinking we probably Widow. Damn, this one's actually tough. Okay, so if we lock jaw Widow's Bite here, we could get screwed. Okay, we don't get screwed. That's sweet. That is sweet. That's uh, that's exactly kind of what we were looking for. Alright, let's go in Jubilee here, because we still have uh, some interesting cards left in the deck, perhaps. <laughs> like a Nightcrawler, my favorites. So we could just leech here and totally screw them. I think we might do that. Just because I don't know what they're going to play here, but I have a feeling that their turn 6 probably requires them to have cards with abilities if they're playing Wong out. Uh, so, if we leech here, we can, um, we can Hulk. That might just have to do the trick. So this is Mysterio? Hazmat, okay. That is unfortunate. Plus Luke Cage, okay. So they got the double hazmat off. Now is it enough to beat us here? This one's just gonna have we're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit here. Odin, okay. Sick. Alright, beautiful. So so far pop and lockjaw. Actually doing some work here. I'm super I'm super surprised, guys, not gonna lie. Um, I was like, oh, this is going to suck because Lockjaw is just one lane, but we do have enough power to cover a lot of different lanes. Leech was clutched there too, stopping Odin from doing too much. GG Apocalypse. Hey, as long as we're drawing Lockjaw, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely cool with it. Lockjawing into M'Baku is kind of nice. As if we send it back in the library, we never pull it back out again. We've got a free two drop that enters the battlefield for us. Okay, Kiln. Kiln making things a little sus. Not a fan. Kinda sucks that we've got all of our big guns kinda sitting here right now. Almost almost literally all of our <clears throat> almost literally all of our big guns here. Alright. Um sheesh. This is super unfortunate for us, because that means we've got maybe... Uh, this is actually a really tough choice, because we could, if we stick Lockjaw here and we don't win, we could be in a lot of trouble here. We could lose our Lockjaw. Now, if we play Lockjaw here, we've only got one turn to Lockjaw. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just risk it right here, and maybe, just maybe, we can get something saucy going on. I think that's fine. Okay, so we can go here, 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 oh, here. We might be able to kill their Angela here. They might be okay with uh, losing Angela. All right, sweet. Okay, so we send Mbaku in. We get armor. All right, that's fine. That kind of sucks because we don't get to actually defeat their Angela. We've got all our big cards here, but maybe I guess I'm like a Thor. Oh no, no. All right. So we could Thor here, but Thor might bring back Mbaku. Ugh, this is super unfortunate here. Because we can't actually play anything here. Um, so one thing we can do is we can Vision and hopefully draw back into Vision. And then we can move Vision over to one of these two lanes. That's really our kind of biggest... Oh shit, okay. 
All right, and I think they win here, right? Because we can't play anything and we can't move. Yep. All right, well, GG, Rowan. They figured it out. Yeah, because they would have won their middle and rights. Yeah, if this vision would have resolved, there's still no guarantee we could have won there, but uh, Professor X definitely locked us out here. So, GG, opponent. More power. All right. It's kind of nice. We got our lockjaw. I wish these two at least were still in the deck to cheat out, but uh, maybe we can get something else good. I'm going to hold on to Nightcrawler. That way I have something to lockjaw with on turn four. I could definitely double lockjaw here. Morbius. All right. Got that. Okay, so let's go ahead and lockjaw. Do we lockjaw over here against Morbius is the question. <sighs> I actually think we could probably just lockjaw Stark Tower here. Yeah, that's fine. Because they're probably planning on playing some thick creatures, maybe like a Hella as well. So first things first. I um, think we Nightcrawler into Thor. Yeah, they discard Hella. That's nice for us. That means we just have to fade Ghost Rider. Okay, so we got something that stops destruction. And what's the second card? <clears throat> got six cards left in my deck. Seven cards now, I think, with Mjolnir. Oh, sick. Nice. Suck it. <laughs> uh, and then we could probably just Jane Foster here. I wonder. Would that be enough to get us through... I think we get Nightcrawler Jubilee. Let's try that out. Because we might be able to pull Thor back out. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> no! Okay. That is kind of unfortunate. Got five cards left in the deck. Chavez was immediately in there all right so uh do we is there a chance for us here we could go we could win like this but there's no way we would win here i don't think all right let's try it out yes let's go this uh this deck's definitely surprising me guys um not exactly sure what the opponent had going on especially with the i think it was like a turn four leech right here that definitely screwed the opponents out of a lot of cool gameplay I'm sure, but uh, yeah, GG opponent. All right, we got our good boy, good boy Lockjaw. Yeah. So no turn one and turn two plays for either me and my opponent. Very interesting. Um, damn. Uh, I guess we could just Lockjaw here. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, we'll lockjaw here. Me and my opponent are both playing the late game. All right, um, let's go here, here, and armor here. <clears throat> okay, we got our Chavez out. Sweet. Mbaku, send that back. Get yeah, Nightcrawler. Nice. Okay. So we have potential for five and more ag that we might be able to beat the opponent on. Okay, so let's leech. And end the turn. <clears throat> we shut off five cards in their hand. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Yeah, Leech is just so gross. Permanently gross. This card just... This and Leader. I don't know what they're gonna do, guys, with it in terms of the meta moving forward, but as long as those two cards exist, there's gonna be games like this where they're just instantly shut off the opponent, so GG opponent. Iago. Here we got Nightcrawler action.
I'd like to know if there are any. I don't really like look up decks too often. I just kind of put whatever's in. And sometimes I'll you know catch a random content creator and just kind of like look at that and see what I have in comparison. Um, but I don't. I wonder what else Lockjaw would really work in. What kind of shell? Maybe it just doesn't work in any shell really. But uh, damn, this uh, man, this board state sucks because I can't play anything here. I can't play anything here, and I literally have to play something here. I guess let's just see <laughs> if there's anything we can do. It's looking like a big old no so far. Got all these thick old things we've got here. Um, I could potentially do something like this and, gr and grab what? What would I grab here? Um, all right, we'll play. Um, we'll play Vision. That way we can move Vision to Morag. And then what? Play Hulk here? All right, let's just see. <clears throat> they might have something huge that they could put here. Iago. But if they don't have anything bigger than Hulk, then you're Gucci. Vision might be clutch for us here. Vision might be clutch, guys. Come on. Come on. What else could they play here? Uh, oh, Infinite. What am I thinking? Like, they've been skipping their turn every turn, so Infinite definitely crushes us here, I think. Please not Infinites. Ultron. Okay. That does beat us there. <clears throat> Doesn't it? Oh no! Yeah, I forgot. I'm I'm used to playing against people who play Ultron who already have like pump spells like Kazar or uh, Patriot out. So I'm used to losing to that, and I'm like, damn it! Uh, but we won this one, so GG opponent. That was uh, super clutch. Okay, we end the turn. We've got our fortunately kind of our bigger cards here. Vision is just one of those cards that's so great off of Lockjaw, because um, it does give you so much flexibility to maneuver on turn six. Oof, damn. They got something juicy. They got something really juicy here. Cosmo. Oh, okay. The of Asgard! No mule near. <laughs> All right, let's jubilee and let's get uh, let's get a Hulk out. Hulk or what else can we pull out here? Could uh, get Chavez. Could even just get a basic Lockjaw out of here, to, you know, which could be kind of unfortunate for us. Armor, okay, not great, not great at all. <laughs> I think there's something to say about the potential odds to um, to roll high off of a Jubilee. Uh, I got a one in three chance to draw a Lockjaw next turn. How do we want to win this? Okay, so we could play Vision here because we know they've got Claw, right? And they know we've got all this stuff. Um, so they might even play Leech here, over here. To which I say, Bulu for you. Okay. Um, and if that happens, then we still have the potential to win here. All right, so we're going to end the turn. So I have a feeling they have Claw, and they're going to play it, and then they're going to do something big here. But that means we've got Vision to move over here. And then we've got something huge here, like that. All right. <clears throat> that gives us 19 power, or 9 power here. And, uh, no, I mean, the opponent could still beat us here. Let's see what they've got. Something like Onslaught would definitely crush us, like absolutely crush us. So you don't see a lot of Onslaught play, but if they have it, this is the time to play it. You also have like, it's ongoing. So maybe like something like Spectrum, but I don't think it is. This is looking more like a kind of a mixed bag of just really good solid value cards rather than a combo deck. I don't know. I think they might have like Iron Man generally. Opponents. All right, that's kind of a scary one. So I think we might just retreat here. I don't I don't feel especially confident that we've got this one because this could be shit. It could be anything. It could be Doctor Doom, right? Doctor Doom just beats us straight up here and here, I think. Yeah, because that's 11-11. So better to get out of there right now. I think the opponent had discovered something that we didn't see probably. Um, this would have been, I guess, 12 here, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 9. 
That means we would have had to fade eight and three here. That's really not that much, I don't think. So, yeah, GG opponent. You know, when you play a deck like this where it relies heavily just on <laughs> on RNG um, and a little bit of calculating what you've got left in your deck, it feels really sus, like not gonna lie, it feels hard to say you've got a dominant hand, so therefore it's a good idea to um, snap, right? I feel like Lockjaw decks definitely make snapping um, a little bit of a tougher proposition. Alright, so we're going to just end the turn here. We've got a Lockjaw on Fist Tower, kind of sick. Perfect. Alright, opponent Cosmos. So this could be Destroyer. Magneto, huh? Oh, nice. Okay, thank you, Magneto. Hulkbuster. Hilarious. Oh, man. This is actually one of those times where I would probably snap then. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. The free Magneto at X Mansion. There's, uh, there's a little bit of flavor there. So, yeah. GG opponent, though. Sick. A little pup snoring back there. Um, not the one who had surgery. That one was Tito. This is Violet, my baby girl. And, um, yeah. Yeah, nothing beats it, guys. The holidays are um, really nice with all the family time that I get to spend. I hope you guys are having a good holiday season out there, though. Um, man, the new year is right there. December 29th, as I'm recording this. Damn you, Scorpion! Oh, man. What a mess. What a freaking mess. Okay. What do we even do here? Um, do I play this turn three and then do nothing? Or I'm going to hold off on playing anything here. Let's see what the opponent's got. Angela? Okay. So they're only up two by turn four. That's not the best thing ever. We've got five cards left in our deck, but we've got all of our kind of s strongest things here. So if I Jubilee here, that adds two to the board. Turn five, I would have to choose between doing something here. Oh, this is tough. Okay. If I Jubilee here and I don't get something big... Alright, let's try it out, actually. I kind of want to see what the opponent's got. They still have priority, which is nice. Um, which means they can't Shang-Chi. <clears throat> that is uh, unfortunate. Okay, looking for Hulk here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh, man. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Damn you, world ship. The Hobgoblin, I could have made it through, but the Jubileeing into Lockjaw, definitely not great, because it's all of my beaters are kind of out. Like, even if I got Hulk, right? Hulk means I would have had 11 on the board or something like that, so definitely not enough to secure a win here. GG. There we go. Alright, add a copy to our hand, huh? Um, yeah, I guess we get Nightcrawler here. Nightcrawling here gives us an uh, extra couple of triggers off of our Lockjaw, which is not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, um, I wouldn't mind just playing Nightcrawler out here also. This gives us um, a creature that will get progressively bigger, and then each turn we get to kind of get it to like vision size almost. Okay. We're gonna do it. We're lockjawing on Mirror Island here. Alright, and they've got Mr. Sinister and Yondu. Oh no, not my Jane Foster. Alright, well at least I know that I don't have that in there anymore. Not too terrible, I guess. We are going to Thor first. I think we M'Baku. I don't want to pull M'Baku out, so we Thor first, and I guess we M'Baku here. Sure. Face the might of Asgard! Mjolnir! 
Okay, so we got the Mjolnir out. Hopefully we don't bring in Mjolnir. Alright, Hulk is nice. Don't bring back Mjolnir. Oh, nice. Now we got two Mjolnirs. Alright, so Muir Island is basically ours here at this point. So it's kind of nice. Okay, so we can go Nightcrawler here, and I can Leech. That should screw up their turn six, and I th think we're good here, because I don't care what they do here on cloning vats. But I do now have a five-point Nightcrawler here just chilling, and then an M'Baku who could potentially come back in as well. Do I? Oh wait, no. No, I didn't sink M'Baku back in. That might have been a, a game-losing play there, uh, unfortunately for us. But Leech, I think, was a good enough play here to make it worthwhile. Okay, so we kill five cards in their hands and bring Chavez out. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Leech is so disgusting. <laughs> uh, this be so frustrating. I mean, it is frustrating because I've played against Leech so many times, but yeah, it's definitely one of the most frustrating things to play against when you have kind of a combo deck because it's looking like they had something going on here that I wasn't uh, fully aware of. These two were about to get destroyed for sure, but... Yeah, uh, we crushed middle. Morag felt pretty safe, so GG opponent. Turn five cards cost one more. Gross. Okay, um... I guess it's safe to play a Nightcrawler out here. We don't have Lockjaw in hand, so that means we're still looking for that, and then we can M'Baku, perhaps. Now, I've seen iterations of this deck where you play zero casting cost cards, um, like the Yellow Jacket, yeah, and um, I can see where that would be good in tandem with Jane Foster, that we pull out cards out of the deck to help with Lockjaw and Jubilee. I'm just gonna pass here. Plus five energy this turn. Oh, damn. I could just infinite here. Should we do it? Do I snap on infinite is the question. This is a destroy deck, so they may not have Shang-Chi. I'm not going to. I just want to see where the game goes. I don't really care, honestly, to win cubes. I'm at like a good spot. All right, let's go and uh, Lockjaw, M'Baku here. So if the opponent wants to destroy this, they can, but Chongqing probably has to happen pretty soon for them. Let's get a Hulk or a Chavez. Okay, we get the Hulk. Let's go. Killmonger, all right. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so we could... Hulk here, or not Hulk, Thor here, or let me see, we got three cards left, um, one of them's in Baku, do I risk pulling out in Baku here? I guess we kind of have to, like I don't have much else going on here, right, just turn five, okay, Baku comes out, I would have liked to play like Vision there. That might have been probably much better for us. All right, so how do we... Do they beat us with like a Null here? I think a Null could absolutely crush us. Let me see. That's eight destroyed, one destroyed. I have a feeling that they probably have Null. I will bow down to the Null loss here. I'm only getting up to 29. That means they only have to have 10 power here, which could just be death. And death, simply death would have been here. But uh, 29 power, like, you know, I kind of have to live with that. It would have been it would have been so much nicer to have just played Vision here on turn five, because then I could have... I think I'm going to retreat here. I'd, I want to be smart with my cubes. Like, I really strongly suspect that I can't beat um, in a in a death destruction deck. It's more than likely they've got death, and they already have eight nine things destroyed so it's a free death as well so it's not this isn't one of those times where it feels like i would have um 
won very effectively. It would have been cool, though, to see like what happens, but I had a feeling it was going to be some mix of death and null. And it was going to be decimation, so we escaped before we uh, went too far down there. Kiln, huh? Okay. Uh, card moves here. And so we could just armor out here, just in case it's a Morag. Get some power on the board early on. All right. The vault. Okay. Uh, we go ahead and just lockjaw here. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with lockjawing here. Ah, I'm gonna try to push me out. Um, let's go Thor, Mbaku, right? No, hold up. I guess we can go Thor and Baku. Hopefully, don't pull out a Mjolnir. That would kind of suck. Okay, so Mjolnir is in our deck. Unfortunately, Mjolnir is kiboshed by Cosmo. Okay. okay. Go here. Here. Can we snap here? Because we're going to draw Chavez next turn. This is 6, 9, 9. I can make this 11 here. Yeah, I'll go and snap here. Yolnir makes this 9 point Thor. And then we would also have 11 here at the Volt. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is it enough, though? Mjolnir! Mjolnir! Okay. Okay, um, so how does this look? Go Chavez. Here, 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 something like this. Ooh, okay, wait a second though. What if this is Destroyer? This is 9, 10, 11. So if they move here, this is 12, but we would win with Vision. Oh, yeah, we definitely win here, right? Because they would move here. Yeah, we, if they move here, we win there. We would win either way, so. GG opponent. Yeah, because basically, in order to win mid, they would have to vault. They would have to move vision here. Um, but we moved our vision here, so we would win. And then they leave this at zero because they can't play any more cards here. So we would actually have three power here. So we'd win mid and right. So, and there's also a chance that we could have won here as well. So GG angles six one nine nine. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below. And to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.